Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Sky Sports under the main headline of Ashley Barty. World No. 1 announces shock retirement from professional tennis at age of 25. Summary of headline article. Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player world number no. one Ashley Barty says her retirement from professional tennis at 25 felt right after winning at Wimbledon changed her perspective world number no. one Ashley Barty says her retirement from professional tennis at 25 felt right after winning at Wimbledon changed her perspective world number no. one Ashley Barty has announced her shock retirement from professional tennis at the age of 25. Barty made the announcement of her retirement in an Instagram video recorded with friend and former doubles partner Casey Delacqua. And I just couldn't think, there's no right way. There's no wrong way. Then came the challenge of the Australian Open and that felt like the perfect way, my perfect way to celebrate what an amazing journey my tennis career has been. I'm fulfilled. I'm happy and I know how much work it takes to bring the best out of yourself. From Metro under the main headline of Man United job now, Eric Ten Hag's to lose after formal interview with club bosses. Summary of headline article. The Ajax boss is now the clear favorite to be handed the old Trafford reins picture. Getty. Ajax boss Eric Ten Hag had a formal interview with Manchester United Chiefs on Monday and is now the standout choice to take over as manager. According to reports, Ten Hag has plenty of admirers at Old Trafford. Picture. Getty. Now the Daily Mail report that Ten Hag had his formal interview for the United job on Monday with the Dutchman the heavy favourite to take over. Ten Hag supposedly fluffed talks with Tottenham last summer and was described as lacking charisma. But he appears to have come through his United interview without any issues. Following Ten Hag's interview, Pochettino is increasingly resigned to missing out on the Old Trafford hot seat for a second time. With the Argentines camp now believing that the job is ten hags to lose. More. Paul Pogba takes swipe at Ralph Rangnick and says Manchester United season is dead. More. Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba opens door to playing alongside Kylie and Mbappe next. Season for more stories like this. Check our sport page. From Daily Express under the main headline of Mercedes engineer warns Ferrari and Red Bull as quick fix, could turn tables at Saudi GP. Summary of headline article. We use your sign up to provide content in ways you've consented to and to improve our understanding of you. More info Mercedes trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin has fired a warning towards Ferrari and Red Bull by suggesting that his team could pull off a series of quick fixes before the next outing in Saudi Arabia this weekend. It was the same story after Lights Out 2, with Red Bull and Ferrari both fighting it out at the top as Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc jousted for the lead. There was late drama, however, when both Red Bull cars were forced to retire. Don't miss. McLaren driver Katie Milner joins Express Sport for new women in sport series hashtag she can. From ESPN UK under the main headline of sources. Usyk to leave Ukraine for Joshua Bout. Summary of headline article. Oleksandr Usyk and Anthony Joshua are going to run it back this summer. Usyk will cross the border from Ukraine to Poland and begin training camp for the heavyweight title. Rematch this summer. Sources told ESPN. Now. Plans are underway to secure a date and location for the rematch with Usyk. Usyk. 19-0. 13 Kos.
soundly defeated Joshua via unanimous decision in September to capture the unified heavyweight championship. Joshua, who entered the ring the favorite, exercised his contractual right to a rematch with financial terms already agreed upon. From Metro under the main headline of Paul Pogba takes swipe at Ralph Rangnick and says Man United's season is dead. Summary of headline article. Pogba won the Carabao Cup and Europa League in his first season with United. But has not won any silverware in the five years since. The longest trophy drought the club have experienced since the 1970s. After saying he intends to catch up on his barren years at United, Pogba told Le Figaro, You have to be honest. The last five seasons have not satisfied me, really not at all. It's normal to feel a difference at Manchester United because it's hard to be consistent when you often have a change to your position, or the team system, or your partners. I get along very well with France boss Didier Deschamps. He gave me a role that I know. But at Manchester United do I really have a role? The most important thing is that my children are doing fine. More. Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba opens door to playing alongside Kylian Mbappe next. Season more. Kylian Mbappe makes PSG confession to Manchester United star Paul Pogba while on France duty for more stories like this. Check our sport page. From Sky Sports under the main headline of Andy Murray. Serena Williams's coach Patrick Moratoglu surprised by Ivan Lendl appointment. Summary of headline article. Murray has rehired Czech legend Lendl as his coach. Reuniting for a third time after the pair split up in late 2017. Lendl, an eight-time Grand Slam winner, led the Scot to three Grand Slam titles, including two Wimbledon titles, and world number one in a glorious spell. Patrick Moratoglu on Andy Murray speaking about the appointment. Moritoglu told Sky Sports, I was very surprised that Andy and Ivan started to work together again simply because they broke up two times already. It's more difficult for him to win a Grand Slam now because of his surgery. But Ivan is probably excited to see Andy's motivation. I think it's great and I can completely imagine him reaching a quarters or a semis of a Grand Slam. Why not? From the Telegraph under the main headline of the Ricketts family try to convince Chelsea fans they do not hold racist views as backlash threatens bid. Summary of headline article. The Ricketts family have been forced to try to convince Chelsea supporters that they do not hold racist views after a supporter backlash. Backed by former player Paul Canneville threatened to derail their bid to buy the club. As bidders for Chelsea wait to hear from Rain, the bank in charge of the sale of Chelsea, over which proposals will be shortlisted. The Ricketts family have moved to try to stop their campaign slipping into a crisis. I'm backing at Chelsea's trust and saying a big fat anti-racism no to the Ricketts bid. Please can you stop even mentioning it at Sky Sports News at Greg Hands hashtag no to Ricketts. That prompted their Ricketts family to go public and release a statement of their own. Which said, our family rejects any form of hate in the strongest possible terms. The Ricketts family have also faced scrutiny for their running of the Cubs from Chelsea fans based in Chicago and the group are keen to try to set the record straight on a number of issues. From BBC under the main headline of Wednesday's Gossip Column. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section Gossip Juventus are preparing a huge financial package to lure. 29-year-old Egypt forward Mohamed Salah from Liverpool to Turin. Guardian.
External link Belgium winger Eden Hazard is confused and frustrated at Real Madrid. Who intend to offload the 31-year-old this summer. Goal. External link Serbia striker Luka Jovic. 24. Is not part of Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti's plans and will also leave the Spanish club in the summer. Mirror. External link Arsenal and Tottenham are tracking Galatasaray's 23-year-old Turkish winger Mohamed Kerem Akterkulu. Aksum. In Turkish. External link Brazil star Neymar. 30. Earns £600,000 per month more than Argentina's Lionel Messi. 34. At Paris Saint-Germain. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Cavani call questioned as Diego Forlan hints where it all went wrong at Man United. Summary of headline article. Cavani enjoyed a strong first season at Old Trafford. But injuries and selection issues mean both United and the striker have endured a frustrating Campaign Diego Forlan says Manchester United could have altered the course of their season had they used Edinson Cavani properly from the start. Cavani, 35, looks set to walk away from Old Trafford at the end of a frustrating campaign which has seen him spend much of it on either the treatment table or the bench. But fellow Uruguayan Forlan believes all parties must look back on a missed opportunity over a frustrating 20-month spell in Manchester given his undoubted world-class talent. Did Cavani deserve more game time at Man United? The Uruguay international bagged and impressive six in four games in the knockout stages including United's solitary goal in the final against eventual winners Villarreal. From the Guardian under the main headline of Revealed. The deal Spurs struck with Juventus to buy Dejan Kulisevsky. Summary of headline article. Tottenham have two clauses to buy Dejan Kulisevsky from Juventus as part of their loan deal for the midfielder. The option will remain valid the following summer unless the second clause, a €35 million Euros mandatory buy clause comes into play. Kulisevsky is extremely happy at Tottenham and with life in London. Boosted by his relationship with Antonio Conte. The manager had wanted to sign Kulisevsky when in charge of Internazionale two years ago and approved when Fabio Paratici, the Spurs managing director of football, Pursued January's deal. Paratici, in his previous job, had brought Kulisevsky to Juventus from Atalanta in 2020 for €35 million Euros plus €9 million Euros in add-ons and felt sure the player would thrive in the Premier League. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.